There's this only 45 here. people that know about this. Oh, this is the speed run. To my knowledge. 45 so people that know I about it. I highly suggest you keep this to yourself. Does that mean his name is like Okay. Yeah. It's like, this is... <laughs> no, they keep your name in. Oh, did, you, did you just hear what you said? Keep it to yourselves. Only 45 people know about it. On a members-only stream? That doesn't yeah. scream, I'm selling this shit? Right. Because is the he claiming moment that he's not selling them? Any... Well, in this video, he... This is I a forget. members only Members only. Like, so... he didn't mention he's selling him, right? Because that would look bad. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Negative Andy, but any... you have to... It's like a subscription to be a members only. Say so you're selling them without actually see, saying sorry. you're selling them. So yeah. I highly suggest yeah. should I you keep man. this to yourself. I highly suggest you keep, you keep this to yourself. Oh my this. fucking oh my god. god. Oh, me, when I, okay. me when I don't want people to cheat in my video game. Um, this is just for you guys. <laughs> the reason He's talking I'm about our reaction video. To prove to Hell you yeah. Guys, like, Wait, Beyond what? Shabba what do you mean? How he was talking about our replay, reaction replay. video. Oh, where? I, I wasn't even, I was like half like Re listening. Replay it, replay okay, replay, replay it. There's a lot of fluff about me being a narcissist, me being a liar. Uh, I recently watched Nephesis' terrible oh. react video. Terrible react terrible. video. Yeah, it's terrible. Stream and how it's a big deal. You, you fucked up, man. Yeah, you know, whatever. How are you gonna um, respond so to this? the reason I'm making this is to <laughs> you prove responding. to you guys, like beyond shadow of a doubt, how serious behind the scenes things are. No one really knows what a bug and exploit is, according to okay. Zenimax and Bethesda. And here is my Brother. counter argument for you naysayers down here in the comments. Okay. Okay. I'm a naysayer. Add-ons. Add -ons. How come everyone what? who uses an add-on is not immediately banned? Because huh? my definition, what? which I think what? most people's definition of a bug or exploit, is using something that is not intended in the game. Okay. They provided are not intended. They interact with the API. It's, it's essentially <laughs> the equivalent of pressing buttons on you know what in your inventory. i think he's right i'm gonna agree with him here <laughs> no Fuck add -ons. Fuck add -ons. Really Your, their add-ons are if, crushes if, you don't need them pc players are getting carried by add-ons Fuck you all <laughs> yeah i don't i don't think yeah. there is going to be next year for those maybe i should sell tokens. them maybe there will be I don't how many know. do i have one two three that like people people keep paying me to react to this <clears> so we're gonna react to it and uh you know, some some people have provided some additional information, I guess. Yeah, I guess we'll go over that too. So it, it's yeah. Apparently, like he got banned, which I didn't know about. The fifth time, apparently. Fifth time. I mean, Tesso perma banned me for the fifth time. My thoughts and plans going forward. Okay. Yeah. I don't think it's a perma ban if it happened like five times. In my opinion. Didn't, <laughs> but, didn't he quit the game and then? Uh, the wall of text. Okay, one, one month ago. The reason I've been on is because I was permanent banned. This was a month ago, for the fifth time, discussing the interaction between clever alchemists and seeding, seek, seeding, seeking synthesis on stream. Not gonna cause drama other than Zoss has it out for me. Oh boy. This stream was for members only, which I find comical that people would pay real money in an attempt to get me banned. I was banned really? hours later, so either someone close to the devs bought a sub or the devs themselves bought a sub in order to watch and find a reason to ban me. <laughs> Wild stuff. I'm just tired of appealing this every few months. I have another call in the 29. Okay. It was been, probably the devs. Been been moving, job change. Okay, that's fair. And a few other lifestyle changes. Oh, yeah. Quite frankly, it sucks being under a microscope because I can't produce the content I want for everyone without the risk of losing a decade's worth of work. Anything can be no considered boy. a bug or exploit because the terms of service and our code of conduct specifically defines it. So be careful, everyone. Uh, I'm pretty sure they define it to mm -hmm. some extent, but... They also defined how you shouldn't transmit or uh, disseminate the bugs and exploits. True. So that's a big True. key thing here. When the Ray team, I forgot their name, PTE, right? When they got banned, yeah. it wasn't uh, specifically for, I, I believe, for exploiting Basse uh, in itself. But it was for streaming it, live streaming it for dozens of people to watch yeah. and also re the, you know try replicating. So they don't want people to replicate uh thing so I, I i don't know what's going on here um uh, learn from my mistakes i guess all i want is to bring these topics to light so the devs know how to address them and i keep getting punished for it okay because i am forcing the dev ha devs hands to comply with the will of one individual okay so after that 
Uh, he has another update. Has huge planes going forward, even though I'm permaban. What is this? Uh, what, what? All the advanced mechanics I've held back over a decade, I will now start rolling out over the next few months. All of the broken sets, items, interactions, armory station, broken chain points, etc. What? The reason I've kept literally spreadsheets of this information to myself was because I don't want to be banned for having and sharing this knowledge. Now I have nothing holding me back. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go. Yo, let's go. What the? And I'm opening Wait. the floodgate so that everyone will be able to have the same competitive advantage as everyone else. Okay. If Zoss finished. will not make changes for their players, then I guess I'll have to force their hands in order to enact changes I've been asking for four years. So he's trying to hold them hostage, essentially? Okay. Apparently. I love Trust this community me. in this game, but these community managers no and a few game select game. senior devs have driven the ESO into the ground. ESO is no longer about players. We're just cattle to be farmed for the next Bethesda flop <laughs> of an IP. Uh, okay. Whoa, that's deep. That's deep. Okay. And then in the meantime, here's the infamous stream that got me banned. Okay. See, if you follow Destiny, there's a dude called Cheese Forever. His entire YouTube channel is bugs and exploits just for Destiny. And they okay. appreciate him bringing all these bugs. Okay, and pause the video. So I want to talk about this. Okay. <laughs> all right, why? Okay, so the, the policy of Bungie in Destiny 2 is that all bugs and exploits, glitches, shit like that, is on Bungie and not the players. So they right. allow you to use them as long as they are in the game, <laughs> like not like literally cheats, until they fix it because they take responsibility. Zoss does not take responsibility. Yeah, they this, put this it on you. Thing. That is very clear. They are extremely clear about this. <laughs> the dial tone. Hello. Infamous. That, that, that's a strong word. <laughs> we have members of our studio development team that think you should be banned, period. <laughs> um, this sounds so fake. It does. Thank you. But, oh my god, I'm so glad I wasn't fake? the only person. Did you not? Okay, did you hear the introduction? The the rhythmic... No. No way. Yeah, sure. I mean, some people talk like realistic. that, though. Some people talk like that. I, you think he would fake yeah, the re maybe. audio recording? Come on, that's, yeah, but it's uh, Horcrux. That's, <laughs> okay, that's high production though. Like you gotta have a fucking actor. You know what I mean? Like I don't know, man. It's I like, don't know. I don't know. Just hire your friend to start fucking yapping for an hour. Yeah, but he's got the names and shit. I don't know. I get luck to do it. Sure. Why not? <laughs> people in our studio think you should be banned. Studio people were calling me to find out why I gave someone like you, who is a known bad apple, who they requested to be banned, six months of free ESO plus time. What? So what you just heard uh, in, in a few audio clips there, none of this was taken on context, by the way. You know, none of this was edited. Um, what, what, what you heard was... The but, oh, he's only playing clips. No, it's fake as shit, just, for sure. He just contradicted himself. He said, those clips you just heard, none of this was edited. None of it was out of context. He literally clipped pieces <laughs> and pieced them in, meaning it was edited, and we have no context. That shit is fake as fuck. I don't know. I'm not giving the benefit of the doubt and say this is like real, right? Like they, like they called him. All right, I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. You know, React content wasn't <laughs> so poorly done and misrepresented me so bad that I had to oh. talk about this. So. Okay. Um, if, if you guys playing your fucking know, video that, verbatim, uh, misrepresenting you, you fucking went dickhead. On, raised, you know, like Apparently, seventy six hundred dollars or whatever for the uh, the new kids. Uh, Stare. Uh, the whole point of that was wait, 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 wait. That oh god, I remember this shit. So yeah, yeah, I remember the whole charity shit. Like he, that's the video that he, he blamed us at the of this. in the fact that like fake crying. He, they didn't put him on like a no, that was blog a page one. list of streamers doing the. Oh yeah, they didn't put him on this website. Right, yeah, the give that's... a sweet roll charity for you know it's no kid hungry, a uh, fantastic charity by the way. I would highly recommend donating yeah, to it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've done it too, and it, he was like Zoss stole meals from the mouths of children. Yeah, because he didn't, <laughs> they didn't put his name on a list because that they no one didn't looks put at his anyway. Name on the Bro, web page. The web page. God, he's so cool. I don't know. But anyway, no, nobody Never checks the web page to say, oh, what streamers are hosting charities right. this month? Not like, to mention, nobody does that. Not to mention, the batch of streamers. There, there, were, there was like several batches of streamers that were doing that charity. There yeah. were a lot more that were not on that list as well. Yeah. So I, I don't know. There's a lot doing it. Like, and, I don't know. 
It's fucking yeah, bothers the me. New Kids uh, Hungry Foundation. Uh, the whole point of that was to show you guys that I am being targeted, and no okay. one really believes that until now. All right. Right. <laughs> What? I still don't believe it. now, I have definitely <laughs> proved that everything has been going on behind the scenes. It's not a con conspiracy. I'm not delusional. This is actually happening, um, and to be honest, it's frightening. Cage. Okay. So if you guys haven't seen yeah, my you video, also asked me to review his video. Out on my YouTube channel, I explained it much more in depth. Like, okay. But yeah. um, um, he went on to explain some other I concepts of which they would do more threats, um, quote unquote, calling, um, called firing a customer at which. Since they have been ascertained by Microsoft, what they'll do, not only will they permanent me if I continue down my road and you know I says. keep making videos about He's so uh, bugs and exploits and, and talking crap about the devs, you know, calling a spade a spade, um, not only will they permaban me, but they okay. will submit the report to Microsoft to have me, quote unquote, fired as a customer. And what that means is fired. any microsoft game any any game that they can have how the hell do you fire customers pretty much everything you know xbox you know game studios you know microsoft um they will co completely permaban me from those games as well so um mm. that was a very interesting concept you know like, like i, I get know it man i get thing. it like you're, you're very serious about these bugs and i'm going to let this next audio clip play out and uh, his, his justification you know again okay. for this call right. is um some of the bugs and exploits that I've talked about are supposedly use used and botting and nefarious purposes, so uh, take a listen. <laughs> it is a daily battle, and what we figured out is they're using your content to be more effective. Okay, this guy sounds Okay, a little... that's so fucking fake. Oh my god. You think so? Yeah. Why? There's no way. The guy sounds a little... I mean, the guy sounds a little Studio head off. goes, they're using your videos to do exactly what you say but, you are. But he's not a studio head, he's a customer support guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's not. What were you saying? I'm saying he sounds mad. He, he, no, he sounds a little ticked off because it, the context I feel like of this what he just said is, hey, the daily bout the daily bout is referring to like, hey, you know, we're trying to fix shit all the time. Yeah, but you know, you're making these videos sharing how to replicate these exploits, these bugs, or to, to you know basically take advantage of these bugs. So now, like, right. it, it's just more hard for us to do our job. I guess because there's multiple because there's, people running around using it. I I I, I don't know. It's like he sounds legit. Mm. I don't know. So what you just heard, um, okay. I, I don't believe this statement is true. I just think he's blowing smoke up my tushy, tushy. on this one. Is or essentially she, um, is he twelve? People are using <laughs> you know, my content to help build I bots and stuff. I, I I don't really Grow understand up. that. I'm not a dev. I don't really cover anything. Game breaking, just some unattended you know, interactions of the game, you know, some features, quote unquote, of the game, and it it, it just it strikes me very weird that um, someone like this would, would would have this conversation with me to kind of like threaten me to get me to fall in line and to not talk about anything, just be a good little boy and just get back out there and you know help promoting the game. But you know, what, guys, you know, screw that. I'm I'm at the point in my life that you know my professional career has taken off. Like this has been like okay. a nice little passion project um, on the Buck's side. But I, he like thinks that I, he's the main character. I think so there everything needs to that be happens some transparency. To him, he's like this and makes me I, the main character. I really character. hope this mm -hmm. this video finds you guys well, and you can kind of give me the the benefit of the doubt here. The 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 past year, I know there's a lot of people I kind of rubbed the wrong way, and you guys you know have this this narrative about me, and you you had these impressions of me. In reality, guys, I just want the game to be better. I want the devs to be more, you know, interactive uh, in our community and to, to help everyone out instead of doing what they're doing to me. Okay. Like, okay. if I was like an up and coming content creator where I wanted to take, you know, content creation, you know, try, you know, make that in, into, you know, like a dream job. You know, this is a lot of people's dream job. Is is they can do this, he wants you know, the game in the community to be better, but like, this is selling so access to the, uh, the fact that information. Right. The their, your, their own game that you're supporting and, and, and that you're playing that you have for the nine years that they just want to crap on you and you know, get you out of the game. It, 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 it just leave, leaves a really bad taste in my mouth. And well, um, when you're constantly it's just, sharing your exploits, it's just dirty, dude. You, you know what I mean? Like the, the devs are doing your boy Horcrux dirty. And um, uh, I just no, want you, you, did. you okay. guys to know. <laughs> okay, like I just want to <laughs> note here that what set off a chain reaction of people's attention on them. I guess it was a couple years ago at this point, right? Was him mm -hmm. essentially doxing uh, somebody, right? A, another content creator. Yeah. Stand up guy. It was Zilla, right? 
and yeah. he had made a video ex quote unquote exposing the larger content creators in ESO for view botting or buying views or buying bots. Oh yeah. And he had listed many I remember that content video. creators, including Deltia, Dots, and uh just a bunch more. <laughs> it was like and then of course that just like if you're going after people like that, of course you're gonna be viewed as like very aggressive or very mm -hmm. hostile. Like what, what else is gonna happen? And then you double down after that. Well what else is gonna happen after that? I don't know. Yeah, and then you continue breaking toss in your videos and your streams. Like, he literally has done this to himself every step of the way. Because he keeps doing something and that he's told, hey, no, you can't do that. That's wrong. You're breaking toss. You're breaking the actual law. Don't do these things. And then he's like, they're out to get me. They hate me. They want to bring me down. I'm going to do it some more. Like, <laughs> I what love that. is, I, I think don't that, understand so cool. this train of thought. Uh, Horcrux, you released videos specifically talking about certain exploits in the game, how to reproduce them to make PvP fun again. This year, you did a video about how scavenging mall procs without poison damage. What? Half a week after you released that video, it felt like everyone and their mother was running around Cerdo with scavenging mall bows. I don't know whether you intend these videos to be educational, but the fact is that there are people using these exploits after learning them from you. Can Zoss be heavy-handed? Absolutely. It doesn't change the fact that you have played a part in this issue and violated Toss by teaching people how to take advantage of bugs to kill people in PvP. I'm if really I made a YouTube curious. video about how to sneak... <laughs> If I made a vi YouTube video about how to sneak a bomb onto an international flight, and somebody, <laughs> oh and, and somebody uses that information to blow the plane, I couldn't just shrug and say educational purposes. They oh complain and call the FBI nar na narcissist, narcissist when I get clapped, narcissist, a narcissist when I get clapped in handcuffs. And there's really some conspiracy to target you, and tr you truly believe they're going to be banned anyway. Now, unless you specifically sign the legally binding NDA. This go scorched earth and release all the evidence. A few 10 second audio clips of allegedly Boyd Beasley taken out context aren't going to do much to help your case. That's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. What the fuck? This guy's spitting. <laughs> Wait, what does he mean with that? Snowflake. What does that mean? Snowflake. snowflake. Like, oh, I thought snowflake. he was like. Fucking bitch. I thought he like full. I thought he meant like cold. So, why? 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 why are you why? No, are you kidding me? Because we I mean, okay, from his perspective, it's like, oh, I have nothing to lose. But at the same time, it's like, I, I don't know. A lot to talk about it's here on the channel. Banned me okay. five times, so, so I'm gonna make a new so account. So TLDR, kind of why I was probably banned six. in the first place to kind of give you all <laughs> some context. Wait, okay, okay, okay. By the logic of we're cattle to be farmed. Why are we promoting it? Why is he still? Yeah, why is he right, returning? It, it, by why extension, is he still to doing some it? to some extent, you are promoting it somehow through the content you make, whether it's yeah. like you're enjoying it, and then maybe that'll show other people that you enjoy it or whatever. The various, I I feel like degrees. So I don't know what's and going I mean, on here. Why why stick around if the game's treated like shit, or if the game developers, uh, assumingly. Or allegedly, oh. have been treating you like shit. So I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say about that. Yeah, and now not only this is, is he fear. going to start making content for people already in the game, the supposed cattle, but new players. He talked about no CP builds. Okay, that's that's low. That's new players. So he wants to invite them into the herd. What's, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Perma ban, unrightfully fun, so. This time they got you, Boyd. So what had oh, happened? This time they got you. Know, last year we okay. had a talk with Boyd Beasley and also Terry White. Boyd Beasley was the senior director of customer support for okay. Max. All right. Essentially, they told me to stop talking about bugs and exploits. Fast forward to my most recent live stream that I had specifically just for my community members called The Sauce. You guys can go check that out on my channel. All right. I showed the unintended interaction of clever alchemists and seeker synthesis, where seeker synthesis was working unintended and then you could quadruple stack clever alchemists. I showed that specifically to my community members to minimize the fallout. I want to keep it low key and I also encourage all my community members to go submit the bug post to properly have okay. it. Hold up, I heard about this one. Wait, what? So, yeah. from what the other people were talking about, I think like a month and a half ago or some shit, he was gonna do these member-only streams to show the specific exploits or whatever, but that's just kind of like selling exploits. 
to people. Yeah, you're literally so you're, selling you're ga- exploits. You're essentially pay gating the knowledge of how to replicate or duplicate exploits mm-hmm. for your YouTube members. I love the little comment at the end, like where he's saying, like, "Yeah, but also I'm uh, making sure that everyone reports the bug after they abuse it, of course." <laughs> Like that is such a far cry from reporting bugs. Yeah, you know you're mm-hmm. trying to like get people to pay you to show you to show them exploits. So they, so they could have used it for a while. So that no one has a competitive advantage Under because the, guys the Swiss have like been using this set combination for a very very long time. Right. And the reason I haven't talked about it is because everyone loves a hate train, right? You know, I didn't want the sweats jumping on my back, but hey, you know why are you bring okay. this to light? There's a lot of stuff I still haven't even talked about. For example, you can still get a fifth, or excuse me a third five piece set from the armory station they fix this bug twice well it is still active it's a little convoluted how to go how you have to go about it but eventually i will upload exactly the tutorial how to do so here on the channel so <laughs> if any of that sounds interesting to you please hit the like and sub button hey. to be notified of the content when i actually bring it out you know youtube has probably got me blacklisted for now since i haven't uploaded in a while but uh we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there okay but TLDR guys, why I got perm banned is because Boy Beasley told me not to talk about bugs and exploits. And during the community stream, right, the devs, whoever banned me, had to purchase a community membership just to view the stream. I was permanently banned immediately after. There's a clause. I'm trying to make the screen. I really don't know. (laughs) The devs are not buying accounts or buying your membership. It's like 14.2 or 11.2, something like that. Essentially, the clause goes, if a member of management, I'm paraphrasing, paraphrasing of course gives you a direct order for example boy busy told me not to talk about bugs and exploits if i go and talk about bugs and exploits they have the right to officially permanently ban me and that's exactly what happened okay i'm going to i think there's a big difference yeah, between yeah that's talk... exactly what happened <laughs> okay there's a big difference between talking about them and showing people and charging people yeah. money to see them there's like different yeah. degrees here Nobody but sees me like, you were told the bug afterward uh, you were told not to tell your community and show them about the exploits or you'll be perma banned. So he turned around and specifically showed his community the exploits who were paying to be a part of that stream and he got perma banned. This is very interesting. Let's hear a little bit. Oh, switch. So, Rex and post credit. I, I actually got sideways. a little heated on this. Uh, the more I thought is about it, the more malice I have to now. this now. So the reason I got banned is what uh, future Horcrux is going to talk about here. All right. So it is a code of conduct. This is clause. Uh, let me find it here. It is 2.11. Okay, so, okay 2.11. All right. So 2.11, All right. 2.11 a code 2.11. of conduct 6. Deliberately contravening a request or action by a member of the Zenimax staff is not permitted at okay. any time. So what that means is, guys, if wait, it, let's read the whole so thing. What that mean- you know, just in case. Additionally, improper use of the in-game support or complaint buttons or making false reports to Zenimax staff members forbidden. You may not intentionally submit misinformation or abuse as helps us in the Zenimax service. Okay member of the Zenimax staff is not permitted at any time. So what that means is, guys, if anyone from management, literally anyone from management, tells okay. you to do something in the Elder Scrolls Online and you do not do it, okay. they can permanently ban you. 10 years of content, Whoa. 10 years of grinding, money, blood, sweat, and tears, <laughs> instantly gone because God. someone from management told you to do what? something which is completely blood, outlandish. So as you can imagine, I am a little bit butthurt by this, as anyone would. No, not only did this ruin 10 years of ESO for me, but this is also part of my livelihood. They essentially killed my channel, right? By okay. perma banning me. Uh, so you this killed your was channel. a huge, huge overreach by Zenimax on this one. And if I actually had the money to fight what? this, I mean, this, this, this is a big deal. Like no I gaming. Can't. Well, industry. okay. He did, <gasps> did he legally threaten them at one point? Yeah, After the he last, did. Pa- well, why not fight yeah. it again? Why not legally, why not legally threaten them again? Because it's absolutely a bluff. <laughs> he just said, he just said, he doesn't have his channel anymore. They fucking killed him. Tree, no gaming. I... Isn't this a bigger loss than whatever happened last time? I don't remember what happened last time. Honestly, like it was. He got just, banned for we... showing exploits. <laughs> right. It seems there seems to be a common theme here in terms of the yeah. exploits. 
Like it, it is have the right. so it's making me crazy that he's trying to blame Zoss on him losing his livelihood when he was told repeatedly, stop sharing exploits. You're breaking I don't costs. think you should need to be told to do that. But you shouldn't. You're right. That's not something you should have to be told once, also, let alone he, this several is his times. Fifth time getting Dude, that, I'm, exactly. I'm but, never but been but it's banned. Zoss's like... fault? No, no, no! You, you have. You've been locked out of your account. No, right? no, no! That, that was a character. Were, that was a character you were, that you got were flying no, no. in a house. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but that was a character, not an account. I'm like, oh, how's the perma ban if it's for the fifth time? Like, what, what is this? What is this? I mean, he's probably like a I feel like perma ban. Talking his way out of it. I can I talk know, my way out of a ban if I really need to. Okay. Let's go. To ban you over something so so obscured, so gray, it's it's just stupid. So something you've been so told I'm not, not sure to I'm do. I'm not sure I'm going to edit the the video to come, but essentially that's why I was perma banned is because I directly disobeyed the order from Boy Beasley and in Code of Conduct 2.11. I didn't even know what contravening means. The dude I had the conversation with, I had to ask <laughs> yeah, him what this word even meant. But uh, yeah, okay. that's why I'm perma banned. And the reason I'm gonna go off on a little bit of a tangent here as well. Well, um, this are. is I've already covered this. This is already being well, a dead horse. So essentially, the way it was explained to me by okay. me talking about bugs and exploits, Zenimax has a roadmap. Okay. They have a roadmap of changes they need to address, right. bugs, yes. uh, fixes, you know, whatever. By me producing content and by me talking about this on my live stream, it derails the roadmap. So they have to pump in extra resources just to address the things that I talk about. So each and every single time I talk about any bug or exploit, it is costing them thousands of dollars in expenses to just commit enough resources to address what I am talking about. And the way how what? Me when I'm the main character. Wait, hold on, hold on. How? <laughs> how? He thinks she's like fucking ruining her business. Hold on, how, how did the, how do obvious or known bugs cost company thousands of dollars i like, i can see his thought process but <laughs> well, what's the thought explain to me the thought process because i'm not seeing it so is, no, it, is so it like what a he, crown store exploit yeah. i can see that no, so what is he this thinks like a combat that, bug no, no 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 i think i know what he think, what okay, okay, thinks okay, okay, so explain. basically what he means by the roadmap is okay they know like their glitches and stuff and they're planning to fix them in his head like this is how they how they go okay they're planning to fix them like in these updates they're planning to fix this bug in that update and okay. they're like, working on that stuff and when he shows a bug like too early or they, he reveals it but the devs are like fuck what the fuck no we have to stop um, everything we have to we have to do this earlier now oh god man what the and and he thinks that this is costing them like a ton of development, like because they have to like rush to fix the bug and I, hot fix that shit and stuff. I don't think that's, that's what his thought process. But is, I don't think I that's think. how QA or game development. No, it works. doesn't. He's fucking delusional, of course. <laughs> but that's how he thinks it works. Okay, so in his worldview, <laughs> he is costing them thousands of dollars per bug. Okay, got it. Somehow. Well, I mean, Wait, I don't think it's exactly that, it but basically, me, yeah. sure, sure. I am abusing, abusing. my influence here on youtube All and right. twitch and, the, and, okay. and his justification for that is that i am trying to maliciously use my influence to make zoss bend the knee to me is how he said it bend the knee to me but oh, oh oh you recorded the phone call yo oh my god, oh my god. god. this just gets worse oh He's my got god receipts. oh okay. my we, god we gotta listen to this is this like well i, I guess okay. it, depends, it depends on the state we Depends it on depends state. on the state and i was just gonna ask like i wonder if they're in separate states what those laws are for those states because there's there's a there's states where as long as one person knows that a recording is happening uh -huh. then it's fine and you can be the recorder and you're that knowing party mm -hmm. then it's fully legal but there's other states where everybody involved has to know if a recording is happening Maybe otherwise so. it's an invasion of privacy and you're doing something illegal okay but we don't know under what jurisdiction this would be under right is it right. maryland where it's not Cause... legal because they're in maryland the company right i think it'll be where the recorder is that that's where it, uh, okay okay 
Maybe. Wait, I'm not a lawyer. Room? Just heads up. <laughs> I, thought I, in, I thought they were in Texas. No, Beth Bethesda and Zenimax oh, are, in are in Maryland. Oh, They're in Maryland. Yeah. Okay, so in Maryland, it is illegal if not all persons of the party gives permission. Right, but they're not the ones recording. No, they're the ones being recorded, and right. if they don't have that knowledge, then Horcrux is breaking True. a law. But he's Where not is, in Maryland. Anyone know what so. state Horcrux is in? Nope. Don't care. I don't don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just like curious. No, oh, oh, no. Like it, in, in I terms don't of think he's going to face any legal the YouTube action. The, you, you, just like, the YouTube commentators will be like, Becca's trying to dox him. <laughs> no, no, I'm just yeah, curious. 100% that someone's going to say True. that. Oh my god. So that's like the only reason I have any interest. It's just like curious about whatever state he's he's in their law on recording i i don't know That's but, uh, all right so let's 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 listen to this i'm kind of curious job to ensure you have no power over my development team and listen okay what it was like it was like it was like a little clip it was like to ensure that you have no power over my development team our development team Oh, that no. is like the least context I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? like I, I don't know. I would love to listen to the full thing if anyone has it. I'm assuming he published that as well. You guys out there in the comments know. section Let's, who's going to say, "Yeah, Horcrux <laughs> use bugs and exploits. You should be banned. It's part of the the terms of service." Yo, know, naughty, naughty. First of all, okay. bugs and exploits is never explicitly defined. And the conversation true, I had, true, I asked this true, very question. The reason mm -hmm. it is not specifically defined is so they can argue in court. So no one really knows what a bug court. and exploit court. is according to okay. Zenimax and Bethesda. And here is my Brother. counter argument for you naysayers down here in the comments. Okay, okay. I'm a naysayer. Add-ons. Add -ons. How come everyone what? who uses an add-on is not immediately banned? Because huh? my definition, what? which I think what? most people's definition of a bug or exploit, is using something that is not intended in the game. Okay. Add-ons are not intended. They interact with the API. It's it's essentially <laughs> the equivalent of pressing buttons on you know what in your inventory. i think he's right i'm gonna agree with him here <laughs> no Fuck add -ons. Fuck add -ons. Really users. Their, their add -ons are if, crushes if, you don't need them pc players are getting carried by add-ons Fuck you all <laughs> if, if add-ons were considered an exploit to the game then it would be in taws that you cannot use add-ons I, I think, mean, they did remove like Miat, but that was because it well, was like okay. exploiting particular. Um, well, whenever an add-on developer, I guess, oversteps a boundary, like he doesn't, I don't, I don't think he knows that there's like a system with ESO UI, the super moderators, and the fucking and, 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 and how they like communicate does with he, the API, API developers yeah. at ZA. So it's like when there's an yeah, add-on that like, like, goes too far, communicate. they directly communicate with those developers. Hey, that's too far, or yeah whatever actually they're, they're or, probably the most directly connected like yeah. people uh, oh, oh yeah, absolutely one, one of actually. the most like communicative probably they're, they're like, very in, in the community yeah. but either that happens from what i've seen on the ESO UI forums or whatever um or from people who told me uh, as add-on developers what happens or the zostevs change the api so that add-on or other add-ons don't uh do the same thing that they don't want yeah. that add-on to do and that happens quite frequently in, in, in history, at least. Frequently? Yeah, okay. pretty frequently. As in, like, they do make adjustments to the API. Oh, like that, yeah. yeah. Mm, to, to prevent yeah, certain true. things from happening. I think usually, I mean, there is some stuff you can do with add-ons that could be, like, borderline cheating, but add-on developers generally, like, just don't do that because it would be not cool, and if those developers react... It's bad for everyone because, like, they will just restrict features that are otherwise being used for, like, not cheating but are useful, right. you know? Well, so we, it's kind we, of an unspoken rule that, like, well, maybe it's actually a spoken rule. Well, we've had, I don't know. We've like, had a couple add on developers on the podcast and they're explaining the systems and uh, basically the ethics of it, um, what they can or sh can't do with the add ons, yeah, at least according to exactly. the API. And of course, it determines the service. So there's also more systems after that besides trust, like the basic trust. There, uh, yeah. there's the super moderators. There's the 
devs themselves. There's the game. <laughs> There's legal things, apparently. So I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what's going on here with the add-ons, but let's let's continue, I guess. Because I, I think we're also going off. I'm tangent. curious on the rest of his point. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of curious where, where, where this is going. Giving you some sort of competitive advantage. How many okay. add-ons... For example, Surrendar. Surrendar okay. tells you people's Surrendar. resistances. It tracks people's cooldowns. You don't have access to that in the game. So in my opinion, I think anyone who uses add-ons should be permanently banned by that oh, logic wait, thing that is not provided. This is actually a pretty fair like point yeah, he brings I, up. I would say this or like a very interesting point. area very of fair. conversation you can like talk about. What is intended, what is unintended, what's a bug, what's a glitch, what's a what, what's an exploit? Uh, what is, how is it defined by either the player base or the developer? I, it it kind of gets into a lot of things that we also talked about in ESOU for like months at one point, especially when it came to like score, yeah. score pushing. Yeah, like who, who is the ultimate the arbitrator or the judge? The and thing. ultimately, after months of discussion and debate and uh, lack of consensus, it basically we said, you know what? Zoss will be the ultimate arbitrator of that. Essentially, if they ban someone for doing X, X is not allowed. That's the best thing you can get. So if, for example, Horcrux is getting banned for sharing exploits on stream or with members only, yeah, then sure. that's against, you know, that's that's defined as not good, is, is the point here. In the tooltip? And that's the case, almost every single person in the Elder Scrolls Online should be banned. So where <laughs> is the line drawn between <laughs> yes. what is intended and what is not intended? If okay. you ask me, the tooltips to all the spells, all the sets need the complete overhaul. There needs to be an advanced all right. tab okay. that gives you much more oh, detail based. that all right. is more in depth sure. that tells you all the ins and outs all the little critiques I mean, his reasons are different than mine a, but uh, i agree but... like this so for example in dota if you dota. hover over a spell it okay. has what the spell does and then it has an advanced tab that tells you all the special interactions that it has with different sets and abilities <sighs> and other heroes okay, and stuff well, like okay. that if you want my opinion if you want to fix the whole we don't. unintended <laughs> non-intended question just have an advanced tab overhaul your tooltips so we as players uh, are aware of i don't get it like so what, the, what do advanced tooltips have to do with cherry exploits <laughs> he, he basically I, wants, I don't understand clearer, but i think the type of exploits that he's talking about are more like set interactions i think he's mostly thinking about this the like, seeker synthesis and, and clever the, interaction actually. okay but that's not that wasn't intended why would you put that in the advanced tooltip that well, it's unintended. What, what he right. what he means is he wants like every single interaction to be accounted for by Zos, okay. which is obviously completely unrealistic. That's unrealistic. Uh -huh. there, there are overarching rules, but these are fair. It's not explained. Like it, it, it's it's pretty hard to find. For example, like the rules on like procs don't proc procs. Also, status effects are procs, sure. and also uh, some some sets are like different. Like. They don't work quite the same as like if you think about that sure like it's kind of complicated i guess for a new player but like what he's asking for is fucking impossible <laughs> sure but like no let, let, let's go back that. to the whole seeker synthesis and alchemist thing alchemist the yeah. tooltip explicit explicitly has a cooldown it, it, it tells yeah. you it has a cooldown so when you find something that pairs with it that makes it not have a cooldown what is your immediate reaction I'm trying to stay on topic here if i find something that explicitly yeah. states it's supposed to do one thing, but it does something else in a very unintended manner with paired with another set. I'd be like, yeah, very unintended. This is matter. this may not be working the way it should. Maybe it's a bug because I'm a gamer and games have bugs. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like every game has bugs. You know, like, I mean, it's like yeah, I, don't... I think it, it depends on where you draw the line is the big important thing because like for well, that's example... up to again that goes back to the discussion of what is intended unintended and that the yeah. ultimate judge of that is the developers or the, the game developer, or the company yeah. that made the game that's it we can't do anything else we can't say anything else uh, after I, I mean, after after the, after the started, thing yeah. is done but i have no idea I what can... that has to do again with sharing exploits i mean yeah supposed yeah. to happen compared to what is actually happening the reason I talk about any bugs or exploits that I find is just okay. so it can be competitive. So everyone okay. is on the same level. If you know right. about these then bugs and exploits, do you, you know how to count for them. Or you know you can <laughs> what? You're literally contradicting yourself. Well, I mean, I, I think it's a... Uh, 
I, I guess he sees that as like, okay, well, I'm going to share these things other people do too, but for a fee because I want something out of it. I mean, it's like, yeah, but then you're not keeping the competitive integrity, so it's just bullshit. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that's uh, that's yeah, what I'm saying that's, here. That's uh, nothing to do with that sharing. That is the exploits. basis for all these videos. <laughs> <laughs> First ones always as free far as the rest of the channel is going to go, yes, we will still be doing a lot of PVE, or well, excuse me, a lot of ESO PVP content. Okay. But again, I need your guys' help in the meantime until I'm able to get an account leveled up. Okay. okay. So uh, that's in the works. He's gonna buy one PVP for sure. top five. I will be bringing <laughs> that oh, back. So uh, again, you think grind? I, mean, I don't know. Why would you? Dude, well, he's talking about, about like doing a zero to hero, yeah, series, yeah, yeah, which makes it sound like he's CP. going to create a, Docs another account. Down. All right, so, okay. um, I just, I just really at this point, I want him to learn the lesson because it's six times now. Well, he knows like, please, please well, just a, learn something from this and well, stop. Here's a, here's a top comment, though. Oh, like, a comment. Not even three minutes. Get the comments. <laughs> not even three minutes in, and you're already he talking about response. how you're gonna upload another video with a bug. Come on now, what do you think is gonna happen? I know, right? Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, he needs to internalize uh, this. I mean, just look. It's at not this complicated. Dish. It's been the TOS forever that exploits are your fault, and you can get banned. Yeah. yeah. They would probably be better off hiring you as a QA tester instead of just banning you. Oh my what? god. Oh my god. No. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Base. Uh, I don't it's know. The one with like, the Confederate flag. It's probably it's usually like people. There he is. Yeah, I wish I could get away with the Wait, shit he Confederate does. Confederate flag? Yeah. Where? He has only top G's in his comments. So why wouldn't you guys it's let me get away cool with this? It's so cool how he replies to like all of them. No. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, why can't I get away with this shit? Like, seriously. Oh, damn. Because you have people that talk you out of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Yeah. Uh, I'll talk you into it. Yes, thank you. But someone... No, I need, the, no, the key no. is to have people support you no matter what, right? Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so someone also sent me this video. Like, through Discord. And There's only 45 here? people that know about Oh, this, this. is the speedrun. To my knowledge. 45 so people that know I about it. I highly suggest... You keep this to yourself. Does that mean his name is like okay? Yeah. It's like this is. <laughs> no, they keep your name in. Oh, did, you, did you just hear what you said? Keep it to yourselves. Only forty-five people know about on a members-only stream. That doesn't yeah. scream. I'm selling this shit. Right. Because is the he claiming that he's not selling them? Any. Well, in this video, he. This I, is I a forget. members only. Members stream. only. Like so... he didn't mention he's selling them. Right, because that would look bad. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Negative, Andy. But any... You have to. It's like a subscription to be a members only. Say so you're, you're selling them without actually the saying you're selling them. Oh, well, yeah. I highly suggest yeah. they should. I you keep ban. this to yourself. I highly suggest you keep, the, keep this to yourself. Oops. I'm doing great, Jordan. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I give everyone a shout out. You're not going to believe this. Oh my god. You, you are not going to believe. How much we uh we don't work on such jerking me off and get to it. Yeah, fuck it. I was edging my so hard. Sorry, so uh I'm ready, man. Uh these are uh the the machine two fifty DG elusive fire. Whoever recorded this is fucking like fast forward. Four hours what the fuck? I love you. XRP King Hussein Rai Trakeem E appreciate you guys or so have some guys that also helps me, right? All this, but again, I don't want this to get nerfed, and I want my members I want to, get nerfed. to have off, fun dude. with it. He says all about having fun. So, oh uh, my god, that's DJ, literally not... Mania, you know, he's, this whole time, I'm doing exploits so that everyone can record didn't, it, and wait, he's wait, like, wait, wait, I don't wait, want wait. anyone to know about this. Wait, 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 so wait, wait. Didn't, he, didn't he literally say, like earlier, that he ex encouraged yes. people that he showed in this stream yes. to report it, which is already contradictory, but here he's contradicting that contradictory statement yes. by, <laughs> by saying that he does not want this That's... to get nerfed and that he wants everyone That's to have fun with it. Honestly, <laughs> most intellectually consistent YouTuber. <laughs> okay. I, like I, 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 I respect it. I respect it. So... Let me put this in its original form. Um, right. I want to show you guys something. What? So, 
What? You, may, you may wonder why I have all of these stacks of stacked one of potions. potions. This is the crux to the build. <laughs> crux? Arcanist reference? Arcanist? Oh my god. No, By it's his name. Necrom. By Dark Crown. Oh That's literally his name, guys. I have a lot Horcrux. of potions and they're all stacks of one. Oh what? my god, Horcrux this predicted Arcanist? Mind. Yo, Jordan Gray with the five. Yo, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, dog. You've done a lot for the channel, like for real, for real. So did like people are paying him, man, for the yeah, for the stream that's showing off exploits, and he's this, saying this... don't share the stream or don't like share this because I want you guys to have it because you paid for it. See, this is what I'm talking about, right? You have to like go deep in on this, like he, bug. he knows this. Shit. Well, no, like, like you, well. that's my point. It's not like oh, I slapped this on and the set wasn't working the way it was intended. Like yeah. it was like I found this this is how I it works with separate stacks oh this is also like something you should have to get this to replicate every single time re reliably Nefis, who would this give a like... detailed report and then do it who would do that <laughs> who <laughs> would do that <laughs> nephis who would do that dude i don't know no one would do that <laughs>